Welcome to Create Studio versus Create Studio Pro video. In this video today, we will be looking at the key differences between these two versions of Create Studio. If you remember, in a recent video, we reviewed the all new Create Studio Pro software. If you haven't watched that video yet, I highly recommend you to do so after watching this video as it will give you a much better understanding of the software. In today's video, we are going to be looking at some of the major differences between the earlier version of Create Studio and the Pro version. So let's get started. What hasn't changed? Before looking at the things that have changed, I want to talk about one important thing that did not change and that's the pricing. Create Studio, which was launched more than two years ago, was priced at $67. This was a one-off payment that gave you lifetime access to the software. The same pricing model has been used for Create Studio Pro as well. So it's still a one-off payment of $67 for lifetime access. There are no monthly or annual fees. A thing to note here is that in both these versions, you only get the access to the standard versions of this software. If you want to get the add-ons, there is a subscription fee to pay. Now that we know that pricing has not changed, let's look at the things that have changed in the new version. User Interface The first and most obvious change for me is the user interface. The new version has a much more polished and professional interface. Not to say that the old version was bad, but the new one just looks better. Also, I found Create Studio Pro to be more responsive than the older version. When working on the older version of Create Studio, I always had to wait for the software to catch up with my actions. But with the new Create Studio Pro, that is not the case. With the new version, I haven't faced any lags or delays while working. So needless to say, I am really impressed with the new user interface. It makes the experience much more pleasant. And I'm sure you will agree with me once you try it out for yourself. Integrations Another thing I noticed is that there are more integrations inside the media library in the new version. In the earlier version of Create Studio, as far as I remember, there were only Pexels and Pixabay integrations. But in the new Create Studio Pro version, you also get access to Unsplash, Jiffy, and cover along with Pexels and Pixabay. So you have a lot more options to choose from when it comes to finding the right media for your project. Characters This is one of my favorite new features in the Create Studio Pro. In the earlier version, you had only access to a limited variety of characters that you could use in your projects. In the new version, they have added extra categories of characters. For example, the new Create Studio Pro now has bobblehead characters that were not there in the old version. Download speed In the earlier version, it used to take a pretty long time to download assets from the cloud to the device. I'm not telling you it used to take hours, but it was still a pretty long wait. However, in the new version, they have made some changes and now the download speed is much faster. Components and effects Other than the number of characters, I noticed that there are just more assets in general inside the Create Studio Pro. There are more animated elements, backgrounds, and transitions to choose from. So you have a lot more options to work with in the new version. There are also components in the Create Studio Pro which I don't remember seeing in the old version. These components act like presets for your projects and help you get started quickly. There is a carousel effect, typewriter effect, button, spotlight, camera pan, in finite scroll and more inside the component section of Create Studio Pro. Then there is the effect section. In the earlier version of Create Studio, there were effects but they were all scattered around in different places. 
but in the new create studio pro version they've all been moved to one place and it's called the effects section they've also added some new effects in this section some of the new effects are glitch green screen clip speed filters color correction blur lens turbulence hue rotation and more so you have a lot more options to choose from when it comes to adding effects to your videos credit system this is one thing that was present in the earlier version and is missing in the new create studio pro version in the earlier version of create studio software if you ever wanted an additional asset you could have purchased it from inside the software using the credit system but in the new version of create studio pro they have removed the credit system and you can no longer purchase additional assets from inside the software now if you want to get additional assets you will have to subscribe to the all access membership that gives you access to all the assets inside create studio library for a monthly payment of $37 you also get additional assets added to your account each month so this in a nutshell is the main difference between create studio and create studio pro versions as you can see there are quite a few new features and improvements in the new version so if you haven't already upgraded to create studio pro i would highly recommend that you do so not only because of all the new features but also because the old version may no longer be supported in the future by the way i've heard that all the existing members are getting a free upgrade to the new version i'm not sure about this but you can check with their support to see if you are eligible for a free upgrade if you haven't bought the software yet then i recommend you get the new create studio pro version the link is in the description below i hope you found this video helpful if you have any questions please let us know in the comment section below and we will be happy to answer them